Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video. This week is the global side of the weekly grind. If you want to check out JP, check out last week, or stay tuned for next week's weekly grind Wednesday. Uh, this week we're going to be going over the global events and the banners that are currently available, and this time's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about the new uh, banner that came that's come out a little bit. We're just going to talk about it. Um, anyway, let's ju jump into it. First one is Lone Warriors Last Battles. Now on this is the Bardock event. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff here to talk about. Not like a lot, a lot. This is a very old event. I've talked about it before in the past. Um, the last Lone Warriors Last Battle. You got a whole bunch of different cards. None of the cards here are kind of worth the grind. Just know Shugesh medals are available on level one. Go Team Bardock. You're going to want to do that. There's three different paths that you're going to choose, and each path gives you a different metal drop in order to get your guys Doken Waken. That's what you're going to use in order to Doken Waken your great apes. So Fasha medals for Fasha, um, Borgos, and Shugesh. Um, they're all going to be useful that you'll kind of need each individual one of them. We'll go take a look at them real quick. As you see over here, um, you're going to need Fasha for the Fasha. You're also going to need Fasha medals for the future LR Bardock if you want to get prepped for that. Borgos is going to be for the future LR Bardock. And Borgos is, I'm sorry, and Shugesh is going to be for the future LR Bardock. I'm telling you that these guys will have their own Doken Awakenings as well. So definitely make sure you get those medals. Um, but you're definitely going to want to get them. Fasha is going to Doken Awaken herself. And obviously the other guys haven't had Doken Awakenings yet, but they will at some point. So just grind them all out. You're definitely going to want to have them. By the way, the Fasha, I believe you just need seven medals in order to Doken Awaken her. Uh, five medals. So just get five of each of them. That's all you should actually need. Um, if you need more, the event will come back when the event, well, obviously when they Doken Awaken. Uh, the, you have the ability to get the Intelligence King Vegeta Kid, or, uh, sorry, uh, Vegeta Kid, uh, Prince of Destiny Vegeta Kid. <laughs> He's available on stage 2, 3, and 4. Uh, levels 2 and 4 are the ones where he has a 5% drop rate. I would honestly just recommend maybe getting one of him just to have him in your box. If you really want to increase the super attack, just use the Strike Event Vegeta and feed him into him. That's all you really need to do. Level 5, Futile Struggle. You have Frieza First Form uh, in his chair, Embodiment of Evil. Uh, you can go ahead and get him if you want to. I don't. You don't really need to, but you can go ahead and get him. Um, he will drop with a 20% drop rate on level 5. Level 6 is going to be both the Bardock and the Frieza, so go ahead and do that. Plus, the Frieza medal is available here as well. By the way, the Torah medals are going to be available on Stage 3. You're going to want to go and grab them as well for his Doken Awakening uh, when he gets one. Level, yeah, so uh, the Frieza medals are going to be available on Stage 6. And then you have Lord Shield which will be available on Stage 8 and Stage 9. You don't need him. Not really worth it, but you can go ahead and grind it out if you want to have him in there. Um, the Frieza Medals are available for both the Technique, Great Ape Bardock, and the um, the TUR variant of the LR Bardock in order to get him Doken Wake. So keep that in mind. You definitely want to go grind that out event. I actually I completely forgot about the LR Bardock, and the event ends, um, let's see, to, in, on the 24th, so I have the rest of the month, actually. But yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and grind them out so I can get them Doken Waken. And this is this is the great at Bardock I'm talking about in the Fasha. Um, and that's about it for now. You will be able to, you should be able to Doken Waken the other ones in the future. Um, next, we're moving on to the Wrath of the Dragon. This is going to be available until the 18th. This is the Tapion event. Um, and something notable, Stage 2, uh, Great Saiyan Man, that's the Gohan. You, you get him, get him up to Super Tech 10 with all four Dupes unlocked. He's not amazing. But he's a free-to-play intelligence unit, uh, and when you're done grinding him out, if you happen to get him up to Super Deck 10 with all four Dupes unlocked, and you haven't done all the Videl medals, if you have the Agility Great Saiyan Man from the Baba Shop, you, he will feed into that one. I got mine to Super Attack 10, and I Doken Awakened him. So I just waited to do that. That's awesome. Level 3 Tapion medals. Level 4 is Trunks medals. Uh, the Trunks is available. He's not amazing, um, but he will be good on a, a free-to-play tech team. He has a built-in crit when you Doken Awaken him. Uh, to like, uh, He has a medium chance to do a critical attack when he's Doken Awakened. So that's worth it. Stage 6 is you're going to be the Flutes. Use the Flutes in order to lower Tapion's guard uh, by 50%. Do it twice and you can attack him for 6 turns. Uh, and you he won't dodge as much. So definitely worth it if you have a really good team. This Trunks is also going to be the, one of the very few uh, free-to-play units for the Tapion event that I'm going to recommend for you to go and run um, him on your team if you don't have anyone else. Because he'll do a little bit extra damage. Um, and he will be, um, he's a technique unit, so he will pretty much, most of the time, be able to guard against his, the attack. Uh, he does 40% attack when performing a super attack, a rare chance to perform a crit, Doken Awaken him, he becomes better, Gohan, attack plus 40%, super class allies attack plus 20%, so total of 60% attack buff, uh, the Great Saiyan Man 2, the adorable hero, uh, defense plus 60%, super class allies defense plus 40%, um, not bad when you have a 120 or higher team, she will be good for super class allies defensive buffs. She will also, that's also a 100% defensive buff for her. Free to play unit, she's physical, so she should have a little bit higher defensive stat as it is, but she is free to play, so lower stats overall. But 100% defensive buff and a 40% defense buff to all allies, that's actually pretty damn good. So she will help you out on that team if you're looking for some defensive buffs. 
Uh, when Trunk Stoken Awakens, 50% uh, tech plus 50% performing a super tech, medium chance to perform a crit. Um, and that's about it. Really cool event. I highly recommend grinding it out. Um, I grinded out the Videls and the Gohans already, so I, I, I don't think it's worth it that I'm ever going to run them on a team, but I, I just wanted to do it. Plus, I want to get the um, the agility Great Saiyan Man up to Super Attack 10. Again, runs until the 18th. Uh, the next one is going to be a new Threat Saiyan Warrior Race Invades. Uh, you're going to have the OG Nappa, Vegeta, and Kid Gohan. Their names have changed, so if you have the old ones, you could still increase their Super Attack to 10, which I will be doing at some point in my life. Uh, I don't know when, but at some point I will. Um, Nappa will do now also Doken Waken. I don't recommend, I mean, I, I haven't, but the, the OG ones, Doken Waken, into these guys over here for their names. I'm just keeping the OG ones just because it's something to remember them by. Uh, but you can go ahead and, and grind them out to Super Attack 10 if you want to. Um, Nappa will Doken Waken into a Great Ape. Not really awesome, but he is available to do that. You also have the Princess Snake item, which recovers 50% HP and reduces damage by one turn. You also have Icarus medals from this. You also have Nappa medals. The Nappa medals are going to Doken Waken your Great Ape Vegeta and your Great Ape Raditz. Uh, they will also be used for Nappa in order for him to Doken Awaken, so you're going to want to go and grab that. Personally, out of all these, you don't really need to Doken Awaken them, but they are pretty damn decent. Um, Vegeta becomes really good when, his, when your HP dro drops below 80%, and Raditz is a nuker. Uh, not a big fan of that, but he can be decent depending on the type of team you run. Um, let's see over here. Kid Gohan's going to be available stage 3. Piccolo medals and Icarus's are on stage 4. Icarus is really good damage reduction item. You do re reduce damage by 35% for 2 turns. Highly recommend grinding that out while it's here. Level 5 is going to be Go Kaioken Goku medals and uh, uh, the actual King Kai training locations. Nap is available on stage 7 along with Triao 2 medals. Stage 8 is Krillin Metals, Stage 9 is Vegeta to grind out, and Stage 10 is the Moon Nappa. Bring a 120 team or higher, uh, it's really easy to grind out, it's not bad, it's that you go up against Nappa, Raditz, and Vegeta, and they turn into Great Apes after you beat their first, like, humanoid forms. Uh, and then once that's done, you're done. Uh, not an amazing event, but it runs only for two more days, so make sure you go and grind it out while it's here, it runs until the 8th. Uh, next one is going to be the Tapion event, runs until the 18th. Uh, level 1, you get the physical, free-to-play. Uh, SSR Tapion, he will feed into the Technique only Tapion, it will not feed into the Agility, the Agility has the word Harutagon in it, so it will not increase the Super Attack, he's free to play, definitely get him up to Super Attack 10 with all four Dupes unlocked, it's kind of worth it, plus if you go to grind him out, you will be able to complete the missions of like 33 Dokkan events, that will, that, that's included, running this on Z Hard is included, so it will help you out there, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. Um, you also have the medals on state Super 2, in order to Dokkan Awaken the Agility and the Technique 1, so you don't want to go ahead and do that. Um, in addition to general effect, not only will Hurugan's damage reduction skill be nullified, damage dealt to Hurugan will also be greatly increased. So if you have any of these guys over here, I don't actually think you should bring um, uh, Tapion's brother or the Great Saiyan one or two, but um, e or even maybe the physical one, maybe not. But the agility one, the technique one, the technique trunks, and the ag agility or technique Super Saiyan three Gokus definitely worth it. They will do a lot of freaking damage. Actually, the, this Goku he has critted and one shot it. The, uh, w with easy A obviously activated, it one shot at the final boss, which is awesome. Um, Tapion, the SSR one, attack plus 40%, extreme class enemies, attack and defense minus 20% when HP is 80% or above. It's kind of whack, but he's available to do that, so we will lower the, the attack and defense. You will also Doken Awaken, as I said before, the agility and the technique Tapion. Uh, next is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Barlock, my boy! His event runs until the 26th. Um, well, you just have one stage. Oh, we have Z Hard and Super 2, um, so you can go and do that. Um, you get the medals for the Super Saiyan 3 Barlock in order to Doken Awaken him, the Agility one and the, the Intelligence one that's brand new, both Doken Awaken. You will also be able to nullify Barlock's damage reduction skill if you activate the Link Universe's most malevolent. So honestly, the two the two prevalent ones is going to be the Intelligence uh, Golden Angel Frieza, Angel, well, Golden Angel Frieza, or the Technique Golden Frieza. Those two link very well together, and they can be used with those two. Um, I've also brought like the uh, the Agility Frieza. I brought the um, uh, uh, I brought, brought Cooler and Final Form Frieza. So uh, I ran that entire team with a Rose lead for the 120 buffs, and it was freaking phenomenal. But uh, I also just brought the Realm of Gods. Any 150 team or 120 team should be able to take on this event, uh, except for maybe a Technique team. Um, technique team might have a little bit of trouble unless you have full crits involved. Uh, anyway, go ahead, get him Doken Waken. He's really awesome. I'll do a full video on him in team building. As I know I already did for JP, I'll do it again. Why the hell not? Um, well, we, we're going to have to because we can't include heroes here. Uh, we also have the uh, the actual Super Saiyan Bardock, the old school Super Saiyan Bardock. He now finally gets a Doken Awaken to Super Saiyan 3. He becomes so awesome. I will be feeding Dupe System into him, by the way. Attack plus 80% more performing a Super Attack. A Defense plus 80% for 5 turns from the start of the turn. Freaking awesome, awesome, awesome unit. And he's free to play, guys. That's, oh, that's so amazing. Um, next, we also have a new banner that's out, which I have not gone over yet. It runs until the 26th. You have 3 discount summons of 30 Dragon Stones. I am summoning on that SOB. 
I can't wait. I'll be doing a video for you guys for that. I also have my uh, Bardock summons, my Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner summons. Um, I will be putting that up at some point as well. Um, you have the new um, technique, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, which is available. Attack and defense plus 70% for an additional attack plus 60, um, plus an additional attack plus 60% for five turns after being attacked. He will do a lot of damage. And again, I will talk about that mechanic in a little bit because I believe you get a little bit higher than the 130% when you add that together uh, because he has that additional 60 after attack. Um, so I believe that comes into effect after the attack and defense set plus 70% is um, added. Uh, the other Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, so this one's the GT Vegeta, then you also have the new physical Vegeta. He has a damage reduction skill built in. It's pretty awesome. He does attack and defense plus 70%, damage achieve minus 40% when guard is activated. So that means he only reduces damage, guys, with the intelligence uh, units, uh, going up against an intelligence team. If you're not going up against intelligence, he does not have a damage reduction. Uh, I still think the, 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 the actual strength one is better, in my, my opinion. Um, but that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, the GT one, the, the, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT, is in the running with the, um, with the strength one. And the only reason why I like the strength one a little bit better is because he gets Fierce Battle. Um, so it's really up to you on how you're going to want to run that. But you do have the ability to do that. And they have a whole bunch of other things. And all the LRs are also available on the spanner. But we'll do that and we'll do a comparison guide maybe at some point. Um, the, also, the uh, the Agility Goku now gets a Dokken Awakening. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku GT. You have to run the Super Saiyan 4 Goku event to Dokken Awaken him. And the Strength Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT gets a Dokken Awakening. You need medals from the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event. He's really awesome, actually. I actually have him pulled up over here. Um, actually, this is the Goku, the Goku. So this is the Goku attacking defense plus 90% of the start of the turn. Um, so he's really awesome. He has GT and over in a flash. So he, he could be really freaking decent um, on the team, especially when you're running GT because of all those buffs. Over in a flash and GT just make it ridiculous. Um, this one over here, unfortunately, this Vegeta does not have over in a flash, which kind of sucks. Um, I don't know if the Technique one does. Again, I'll do a comparison guide. But he also does attack and defense plus 90% of the start of the turn. Um, he has Fierce Battle uh, GT, which is really awesome. And Golden Warrior and Super Saiyan. So pretty freaking awesome. And obviously Super Saiyan 3 team, he has li limit breaking form. But I'll do a team building guide and we'll talk about the possibilities of what you can and shouldn't run. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is it. We will talk about that. There is a data download, but I'll be going. It's pretty much just the Super Saiyan 3 stuff. Um, the JP side also has the EZA cell stuff that's out. But um, I got to go change the master link on my motorcycle. So I know this is like the fourth time I've done it. Uh, but yeah, I have to go ahead and do that. But anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how hyped you are for all the Super Saiyan 3 talk. Um, and I will be doing the Cell Easy A review tonight. I'll probably be releasing that video later on tonight. And then um, I'll try to get everything else that I want to get done um, throughout the weekend. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. And I'll catch you all in the comments. Peace.